This is a new video about Animation Workbench and uh, I have demonstrated how to use the uh, Workbench to detect collisions between two symbol gears. We will see it again. We have a collision here and the other one on this place. Okay, and what we can do, we can refine our model and then we will get something like this and can run the simulation again and there are no more collisions. This is the new, the better model. I run it again. But what you see is that the second gear does not uh, run in normal speed. It's very shaky. There are, there is, here is his uh, situation. This is like a deadlock. And now the question is how can I refine my model to get a better movement? So what I have done is I have uh, added two further gears, here a red one, and now I can run them. And the red one is a little bit, a bit more rotated than the other one. Uh, this is done uh, with uh, extra speeder node. The speeder node is an animation node where I can insert an expression and can say calculate uh, the time for this one and is in this case it is the old time plus 15 frames. So the red gear always runs before the green one. The same I do with the source, it's the same thing. I can add here an expression and I can direct the data from the speeder to the placer node. And for these two, for target two, I have a placer node for the target and one for the source. And when I show them, then we can see both run in the right way. So the next what I can do is I can uh, ask the question what is the rotating angel in time. I have a diagram node and the diagram node computes graphs for different functions. What I have uh, done here is the first function is the placement, the angel of the source is target one and the second function is the angel of source two this is the target two and then I also have calculated two uh, extra functions uh, the maximum of the outcome of this and plus two uh, plus 20 and the outcome of the second function and the fourth one is the same but here only with uh, an add of 10. And when I run the manager again, uh, a diagram is printed. So what does this mean? The red line is 
the angel of the red cross when I start I will hide some information I hide the first target and the first source so okay when I start at the beginning the gear is rotating very fast and then I come to a place here where we have uh, the situation of this deadlock there is no speed and then a little bit later there is a speed up and then it goes in an ordinary way okay this is for the red ones the green ones we have another situation we have first an ordinary speed and we come here to the deadlock and then again a short break and it runs with a height speed for the more we have these two peaks and it's not nice to have a machine with run with these two peaks so uh, what we can do we can use for a certain time the motion of the red one and then we can use before this red peak uh, comes the motion of the green one and what I do is I find the maximum of both lines but uh, this will not work because the green one is always behind the red one so I have to add extra 10 or um, 20 to one of these lines and so I get these graphs once again this is the graph of the red gears This is the graph of the green ones and this one is an extra function. I go back to uh, the diagram. This is this one, this function, the combination of both with this uh, is an add-on of 20 and the last one is once more another curve with an add-on of 10. So and now I can decide what of these two models I will use to get a an, an good movement. There are only two small peaks and this curve is nicer too. It's not very nice but it's nicer and I don't want to develop good uh, gears I want to show how I can use the animation workbench okay um, we have now the diagram and using this diagram I have an extra note written uh, which allows us to combine functions I have again these two functions the rotation angel of the first and the second gear and here are again the two functions and I can now connect this outcome to uh, another target so the next target what we want to use is target 4 oh, where is it? here target 4 Uh, and target 3 is a yellow and a blue cross corresponding to these two lines and to move them there are placers for these targets this 
Displays als solche. Okay, I activate them. And now I can run the animation. So, and we can hide again uh, target 2 and target 1 and can run it again. You see at the beginning both uh, run with the same speed. Now we are here in this segment and on this place the yellow is at the first position and the, the blue one is following. Once again, pose in the same uh, angel. The yellow is the first position and again here. So, okay, what is new? new parts or new nodes in the animation workbenches are the speeder which I can use to switch the time and the diagram calculator I can use th such diagrams to understand what happens here and to visualize the movement and a combiner that allows me to combine two movements to another one and when I have found a useful solution then I can decide how to design a technical part which can exactly this.